this session is about Drupal taxonomy. When I first submitted the, uh, the proposal, it was titled Getting the Most Out of Drupal, Drupal's Taxonomy System. I'm not sure I can live up to the claim of getting the most out of the system, but I think I can provide a few good tips and provide some good overall uh, concepts of what, what the system is all about. Um, my name is David. <coughs> I'm a freelance Drupal developer from Amarillo, Texas. And I, until today, my public speaking experience is, consists of uh, participating in our, lo in our local Drupal uh, meetup, meetup user, user group, which consists, I think the biggest group we've had so far is about six. So you guys, there's a lot more of you here, so I'm going to. It's, it's going to take just a couple minutes for me to adjust. So, um, so I want to, to help me feel more comfortable, I'd like to keep this uh, really, I guess, pretty informal conversation <coughs> type of format. Um, so feel free to jump in with questions anytime. I, I have a plan, but plans are, meant, are, are there so that they can be changed. Um, so yeah, so Feel free to ask questions, and maybe if I can't answer something, maybe somebody else in the uh, classified names by, by tags. So you can have a tags category, and you have a, a colors category. So you've got all these layers. And, uh, and so the end result of that is that ideally it should be easier for your end users to, to find things in your website. And so here are a few live examples to, uh, to screenshots. Uh, taxonomy in action. So on the right side of this screen, you see a, a, a list of top categories. Well, this is an example of uh, a, a list of taxonomy terms. So it, this shows what, what it looks like when you click on Meetup, and it shows everything that's tagged with Meetup. This is uh, a book site, and so you've got just a list of book categories on on the right. That's another implementation of, of uh, taxonomy. And the development seed is a Drupal website. Discerning reader, as far as I know, it's not a, a Drupal website. These are just examples of how uh, taxonomy kind of works in the, in the real world. Here's foreign affairs, and it is Drupal. Sorry. <laughs> um, so here, here's an example of more, a more uh, deep example of how taxonomy can be used to organize content when you have tons of content. So inside this regions area, there you've got Africa as a, as a as a I'm guessing this is done using taxonomy. So Africa could be a term, and then um, within Africa, you've got subregions and those are like states or countries within the continent of Africa. Or you could filter by topic. Uh, and I didn't take a screenshot of what the topics in this looks like. And finally, lynda.com, where you can uh, see what courses they have by searching, uh, filtering by subject or by software or by vendor or by author. Those are all uh, different facets of so now let's go ahead and dig into the terminology. This is where a lot of people get stuck starting off. Okay, ta taxonomy, the word just is just the system. It just refers to the system in Google. The vocabulary is one, is a, just one facet. And for example, if you could you could create a facet or a, a vocabulary called category, a vocabulary called color. Um, and then a term is the actual uh, term within that vocabulary. So, for example, red, if, if the vocabulary is color. Or uh, what's the name of an actor I'm drawing blank? If the, if the vocabulary is, is an actor, Ar then Arnold Schwarzenegger would be the, uh, the actual term. And then those terms are applied to nodes. And as far as I know, the taxonomy, Drupal's taxonomy 
system is geared around tagging nodes, and it's not really geared around tagging other things. Um, I'm pretty sure that somebody has already thought of a way to do that, and tag users uh, with taxonomy terms, but users uh, I haven't found it yet, or looked for it yet. <laughs> so here's just another way of saying all of that again. So you've got taxonomy, which contains vocabulary, which contains terms. And taxonomy, multiple groups of categories. Vocabulary is an attribute area. The, the question is, I believe, uh, if, if you set up a hierarchical uh, structure, you can still present that in, in, for filtering or uh, viewing in a, in a flat list, in a single list that, that can be displayed all at once and you can pick just one item from it immediately. Is that the question? The answer is yes. <coughs> yeah, you, you, even the, the the data is entered in a tree structure, you can still present it in a flat list, or you can present it hierarchically. And, and uh, I think we'll get to some demos for that for that's demonstrated. Um, the uh, de running demo that I'm going to use is a poster catalog, so I'll have some movie posters. Um, This is where, okay, just to tell you about my setup here, this is just a plain vanilla Drupal install, except I've added the admin menu, and the reason for that is it'll help me move around a lot faster. And if you haven't used admin menu yet, go ahead and download it and give it a try, because all it does is it takes your, um, everything that's under administer and makes a menu out of it. So, one of the first things we'll do when dealing with taxonomy is create one. So, when you go to content management taxonomy, you get this pretty much empty thing with a, with a description that probably uh, puts you to sleep. And, and so, of course, the one thing you can do is add a vocabulary. Let's make. Thank you. 